Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. We await the appearance of the sinister, multi-time NXT champion. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is, Karrion Cross. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. The time has come to fall and pray. Stand up, Saxton. We are in the presence of true Nigerian royalty. Or obnoxious royalty. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds. Apollo Crews! Byron, for my money, the only thing more impressive than the physique of Apollo Crews is his ability inside the ring. Without question, when for years we talked about the potential of Apollo Crews, but now Crews realizing that potential here at WWE. And the change in attitude has earned him both the Intercontinental and United States Championships. Rubbing it in the face of the entire WWE Universe every step of the way. We are seeing the best version of Apollo yet. I don't necessarily agree with his tactics, but he has never been better in the ring. The agility, the power, the ruthlessness. Apollo has truly evolved into a difficult opponent for anyone to overcome. When Karrion Cross gets in the ring, he always seems confident that it's only a matter of time until he's standing over his opponent victorious. In Cross's mind, he's something of a human doomsday clock, just counting down the seconds until he delivers the obliteration of his victim. It's a ruthless mindset, but it's brought Karrion Cross plenty of success. While the clock is ticking on this match, we'll see if Cross is able to exact his apocalyptic plans in this one. And then we got a man who is built like a Greek god, Apollo Crews. A superstar whose incredible ambitions are only outshone by his incredible abilities. Strength, agility, speed. Cruz can really do it all in the ring. I agree, Corey, but I might call it ruthless ambition. Cruz is only interested in his own personal glory, and he won't let anything stand in his way. Snap suplex. German suplex. Ooh, sharp kick. And Cross evades that. Mistake made by Cruz. Bang it back with their own counter. match grinded him down a little super human 
If Kerry Cross wants to come away with a win, he needs to take a methodical approach. Focus on taking his opponent apart one piece at a time. If he rushes things, he risks making a mistake that leaves him into the cover. Powers through after two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Oh, foot just stomping down. He got whipped into that corner. Great counter. A sound suplex. Is it enough? Rope breaks the hold there. A oh, timely counter by Cross. And he's able to counter. Oh, what a kick. Right to the gut. And Cross is brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, Cruz is really grinding the opposition down. A sky high low down. What a ruthless showcase of ability from Cruz on that one. He is simply refusing to stay down. Countered it just in time. Superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Play out with a power slam. Cross is now being sized up. That gets reversed on Apollo. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Shifts it back onto him. A counter answered by another counter. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Ah, oh, that'll scratch you up. And stopping away in the corner. Just ruthless. Tap out and fight again. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Here's the cover for the win. Kick out. Almost inhuman at this point. Oh, the reversal by Apollo Crews. Climbing to the top rope. Oh, a diving cross body. Isolating the arm. I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. So much damage inflicted. The colossal clutch. And the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. Setting up again. On the shoulders and a slam. Apollo with a game ender. Two. He kicks out somehow. Not about to go quietly into the night. That took some serious endurance. I'll give you that. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. Oh, knees to the chest. The cross. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go.
Here is your winner, Karrion Kross. Perseverance getting the gritty victory tonight. Well, Apollo didn't have it going on here tonight. Now here comes one of my favorite superstars today. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Gold Coast, Australia, Tony Storm. Tony Storm still young and always improving her game. Uh, Tony really turned heads uh, by scoring three victories in the inaugural May Young Classic. Actually went on to win the finals of the 2018 May Young Classic at the first ever All Women's Evolution pay-per-view. from fabulous to untouchable. Here comes a self-proclaimed most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Saxton, how many times do I have to tell you many other people make the same proclamation? This is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. That is my unbiased opinion. Yeah, sure it is. And from Staten Island, New York, Carmella. This is a woman who radiates high class in and out of the ring. How many people do you know who have their own personal sommelier? Carmella's done it all, there's no doubt about that. Former SmackDown Women's Champion, Money in the Bank winner, WrestleMania Battle Royal winner, and she even won Mixed Match Challenge. A truly untouchable resume for an untouchable superstar. Carmella here tonight, set for competition, as of late, has been adamant about how untouchable she is. Well, Carmella has always been somewhat full of herself, Michael, but lately she's taken it to a whole new, possibly delusional level. And because of it, Carmella has become even more of a dangerous competitor. You know, Carmella is certainly someone to watch, a superstar who loves to get under her opponent's skin and loves to look good doing all of it. And with Tony Storm, you're looking at a superstar who is talented beyond her years. You're looking at a superstar. Oh, what are they going to do here? Oh, the clover leaf! Check out the torque on the back. Oh, my goodness, critical point of the match. Oh, it will spin through and counter. She's in a predicament here. Turns back, Storm's attack. And another counter. Stomping down. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, what are they going to do here? Oh, the clover lead. Check out the tour. Too close to the ropes. Yup, and the hold is broken. That turns it around for Carmella. She's sent to the outside. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. Golly, an endless trampling there. 
She's starting to look concerned. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Oh, no, what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up on the barricade. And a big boot. Double underhook applied. Up and down face first. Carmella eludes that. Six. Head scissor. Corey, I'm not telling you anything you don't know by saying that Carmella has a tendency to run her mouth. Do you think that could possibly be a detriment here? Now, Cole, I would never suggest that Carmella should talk less. But I will say Carmella's trash talking possibly allows her competition the perfect opportunity to counterattack. All her opponent needs is one opening to capitalize on, and she could negate all of Carmella's masterful mind games. Ooh, right to the arm. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. And a slap, too. Absorbing the damage. And Tony time, perhaps working a bit behind schedule here. Yeah, as Carmella's clearly setting out to prove just how untouchable she really is. Boom! The French kiss. I've seen that move before. Off into the pin. There's two! She kicks out with authority after two. She's still as determined as ever. A slap, too. Tony Storm's in trouble here, guys. Storm needs to find energy and fast. She's got her in her sights. Up high. Scoop slam. Storm showing there what happens when she puts her ego aside and simply focuses. Cover! Shoulders are down! A kick out by Carmella. Very close. The T clearly set again. The final cut. Perfectly executed. She's losing some steam now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't... Storm dodged that attack. German suplex! Tony Storm! It's Tony Storm Zero! Carmella's in crisis! Shoulders up! Shoulders up! Carmella may have just used up that last ounce of stamina to kick out there. Storm cannot lose her cool here. If her focus moves away from her opponent, it might perch up top. Brace for this impact like a guillotine. And it's quickly becoming Tony time. And it looks like she found that opening against Carmella. Now, can she capitalize even further? Northern Light suplex. The heart of these competitors is showing through tonight. The adrenaline is coursing through their veins. Ah, oh, barbaric amount of stop. Oh, what are they going to do here? Oh, the clover lead. Check out the torque on the back. Man, she's got a lot of heart and a lot of guts, but I don't know if she can hang on here. Heart and guts don't matter with a broken body. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? The final cut. Perfectly executed. All the momentum swinging away from Carmella. Yeah, impressive offense from Tony Storm. Oh, drop right across the neck. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? Oh, what a kick out. How did she do that? Can you believe it? Can you believe she powered out? Still has a 
great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Carmella gets waylaid. Tony able to keep that string of offense in check. Yeah, Storm able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Super kick! I feel a celebration coming. Shoulders down. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. I am in shock that Storm kicked out there. No matter the situation, you can never count Tony Storm out. And a befuddled look comes in from the top. She kicked out. You and I both, Byron. Tony Storm kicked to the gut. Arms hooked. There it is. Storm zero. Storm just ended this. And Storm captures the win. Here's another look at some of the previous action, giving their fans their money's worth and more. This is a victory you can truly be proud of. A victory earned through sheer tenacity and force of will. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds. This is a man who is already one of the greatest NXT superstars in history, but truly cemented his legacy by returning and dominating as NXT champion once again. Well, now he's set to dominate any roster that Finn Balor targets. You know, I don't know if it's just me, or does Finn Balor just keep getting cooler every year? Saxon, when it comes to being cool, you are one man I will never ask. You can see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels.
the king of strong style has arrived. Yeah, get ready. We're about to see the brutal striking ability of Shinsuke Nakamura on display. Shin is a true international superstar. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! I love how Nakamura always carries himself like a champion. Effortless charisma on display. I say Shinsuke Nakamura is overconfident and selfish. Oh, I say you're jealous, but that's okay. So is most of the WWE Universe. Shinsuke Nakamura, one of the most aggressive individuals I've ever witnessed. One of the all-time greats in the ring around the world. The first thing you notice about a guy like Shinsuke Nakamura has to be his swagger. Look, Shinsuke lives the rock star lifestyle in and out of the ring. It's difficult for anyone to take their eyes off of him. Well, we'll all be watching closely to see how this rock star affairs in this matchup. And then you have someone like Finn Balor, who's finally stopped pretending to care about what others want from him. All that matters to Balor now when he's in the ring is what he wants, which is to completely dismantle his opponent at every possible turn and reap the benefits of his success. And what the Prince wants, the Prince gets. Finn Balor's... Bar leg lock submission. The official asking him it. Oh man, quick as a cat, just like that. That was a thing of beauty. Oh. This is not gonna end well. Exploder suplex. Oh, stomp it away. Straining that trapezius muscle. being reminded there that it will take a lot more to dismantle his opponent and the rock star Nakamura rocking his opponent with his signature hard hitting offense Finn able to get out of the way overhead kick finds the mark a back breaker snapped over with a backdrop suplex Allen looking for liftoff, who did Ross? Can that get it done against Nakamura? Two count, he manages to kick out. What strength. Unbelievable kick out. Still a lot of fight left in Nakamura tonight. Balor still has the tools to get the job done. He has to remain confident and keep focused now. Scouting pays off against Nakamura. Counters that. Quickly slips behind. Snap German suplex. What a bionic elbow. German suplex. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Sharp elbow. And Finn heads him off at the pass. Placed into the corner. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. Here he comes. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. And Finn takes enjoyment in the suffering that move causes his opponent. Fun for Balor. Perched up top. Johnny Negra and the cover for the win. This is it. No, stops the count at two. How in the world did he kick out? Great wherewithal on the counter.
that match is worth another look. Here we go. your winner he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura an important victory for him in this match come on guys sing along with me oh, 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 oh. shut up Saxton you're embarrassing yourself